prediction lesson for first graders. This will be the very first lesson on subtraction. Okay, let's get to this lesson. So, subtraction. Let's see what subtraction is all about. I will start by showing you a little example of what subtraction is. Over here, we have a video. And we have four birds on a tree branch. One, two, three, four. Four birds on the tree branch. One bird flies away. Now we have three birds on the tree branch. One, two, three. That is subtraction there. We originally had four birds, and one flew away, and now we have three. That is subtraction. Let's look at another example. This guy, he has one, two, three, four, five, six balloons. This guy has six balloons and he's all happy. Two balloons float away. Now he has one, two, three, four balloons. This is another example of sub. Traction. Remember, originally we had six balloons, and then we can see two balloons floated away. Subtraction. When we're writing subtraction, it looks like this. Here's an example of a subtraction sentence. We will have a number. This is the minus sign. Another number. Equal sign. And here's the answer. So in this case, we have 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. This thing is a subtraction sentence. Now, we're going to revisit those examples we had. But this time, I will be writing out the subtraction sentences. Let's take a look. Now, remember this one. We have four birds on the tree branch. One bird is going to fly away. This one, right? So that bird flies away, and we have three birds on the branch. So, we have four minus the one bird that flew away, and that is equal to what's left here, the three. Three birds left on the branch. That's how we write this situation as a subtraction sentence. In this example, remember, this guy has six balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, he originally had six balloons. And remember what happened? We're gonna subtract two balloons from his six. There go to two. And we're left with one, two, three, four. Four. The six balloons minus the two that flew away is equal to four. So this is a subtraction sentence. Can be five minus three 
So we'll have 5, and then we'll take away 3, or get rid of 3, and we'll be left with 2. I'll quickly show you how you do that one. This time I'll use counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's the 5. And you're going to take away 3. So 3 out of these 5 are going to be taken away. For this one, I will just circle them and cross them out. These three are taken away from the original five, and so we have one, two here, and that's the answer there. Let me move these out the way. So these are getting taken away. And we're left with this. One, two. Well, that's all for now. This is just the first introductory lesson on subtraction. Be sure to check the other videos on subtraction that will follow this one. Bye!